Hi everyone, I'm back again with a tech video and this time the topic of the tech video is rather interesting it's about love love it's called the love deck love is always something that gives you life but at the same time when things don't happen the way it also take away your life from you <sighs> so I don't want to say that love is luck love is not luck love is destiny Mm. Or is love within our control or is it not? I guess when you talk about love, destiny, relationship, marriage, fate and all To me it's all related to God's will You can be in the relationship with the best man on earth But still, both of you might not end up together Because it's not God's will, it's not written in the book of destiny and you might also be together with a person that's playful, notorious and someone don't seem to be a responsible person before marriage but at the end of the day, the marriage might turn to be amazing because people change who knows, that playful, notorious guy um, actually has an awakening the moment he get married when he get married, he tells himself okay, I want to be a good husband, a good father this and that so I would say nothing in life is definite. So to ensure ourselves that we are in good hands and all, of course we have to put effort in getting positive people, a good person in our life. But at the same time also, is to pray to God. To pray that your choice is the right one. To ask direction from Him. To ask Him for a sign whether the person you're marrying will be the best for you. Because not everybody or everything can be the best for you even though they are the best of the best uh, in the world. I don't know how to put it in but I hope you get what I mean when I say that everything is, the, everything is in the hand of God. You can be married at an early age of 19 but still will turn out to be an awesome parent. A parent that can provide the kids financially emotionally and you can just be amazing parents you can also be married at the age of 35 but you can also end up to be the worst parent in the world despite your age maturity so in life there's nothing definite that's how I feel okay stop all this nonsense all this all this rambling and all okay let's get going with this video the first question, you believe in love at first sight? I believe in liking a person at first sight. Love at first sight, not really, but to like a person at first sight is, yeah, it's easy. It's easy to have a crush, have feelings for a person at first sight. Like looking like, like when you meet up with this good looking man. Hey, this man is good looking. Yeah, I think I like him. Hey, this man is charming. I think he's the man for me. Hey, this guy uh, might not be that good looking, but I think he can be a very responsible person, a responsible husband, uh, something that every uh, woman in this world want. Mm. Anything at first sight is always perception and it might not last. So if you like someone, please don't go to the person and say, Hey girl, hey boy, I think I like you, I think I love you, I think I fall into you. Just hold on to your feeling. Keep it for a few days, a few weeks, a few months, and just get to know the person better. You might end up liking the person more and really falling deeper in love with the person. But at the same time also, you might end up not liking the person at all. It's true experience that I'm saying this. Number two, what is your favorite love quote? My favorite love quote Will sounds boring, a bit cliche. It's common, nothing amazing about this quote, but it means a lot. And that is, every love story is beautiful, but ours is my favorite. I'm somebody who loves going through old pictures of my 
relationship period with my husband sometimes when I'm free I'll just go to my Facebook album and just look through all the photos that we've taken along the way um, and I don't know I just whenever I did that I have this special feeling it's just so emotional I don't know how to explain it's something like I don't know it's such a unique feeling yeah everybody definitely have their own love story it can be better than others, it can be worse than others but when it's your own love story you are the one who went through it you are the one who fell in love you are the one who went through all those amazing moments and you are also the person who went through the most difficult period in the relationship which is the beginning of knowing each other understanding each other uh, be secure with each other secure in the sense as in you know whatever he say he's not lying whatever he did is genuine, it's from his heart these are the period that you tend to feel insecure and you tend to um, and a lot of things tend to wander in your head when he said certain things or when he did certain things is, is it something that he really meant or is this really him or if he did sweet things is he going to continue being sweet for the rest of his life or is it just the beginning yeah so all these are journeys relationship love are a journey after being in a relationship with a person for a period of time I don't know you will tend to feel that it's just so beautiful so why should we envy other people's love story we should just appreciate ours and enjoy ours and say as our love story is still the most favorite it's our favorite love story is it of envying others the in the sense as in that uh, other people has a better boyfriend, has a better husband, has a better earning boyfriend or husband, has a better this, has a better that. No, don't bother. Just appreciate your own love story and you'll be fine. Should we look for love? Wait for love or forget about love till it happens? Of course, as a girl, you shouldn't be hunting for love as in looking so desperate. You know, like uh, when, especially, especially when age is catching up, you'll be like, "Oh, I need to find a husband, I need to find a boyfriend." No, uh, you should just wait. It. However, things don't happen when you are at home, meaning that you are yearning for love, you are looking for love, you are hoping for love, but you did nothing. So when there's function or there's activities or any uh, social meetings. Yeah, just meet up with people. There, there's no harm meeting up with people. Am I right? There's no harm knowing new people. You, you, uh, you might just come across the love of your life, your husband to be. But at the end of the day, regardless, whatever we do, whether we hunt for love or we wait for love, it's all in the hand of destiny. I know you're going to say that this Yana, everything destiny, 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 as if destiny will help her in her life. But certain things, life, death, uh, marriage, I believe in destiny. Seriously. In other things, maybe like career wise, you can put in effort. You can grow your career in your own way. You can put, you, you, can, you can work hard. You can work hard to make things happen. But these th three things life, death, marriage, I believe. It's already written way before you are born. So what we can do is uh, we can put in effort to increase the chances of coming across uh, love, getting the love. But it's all is up there. Just pray to God that God will send you your love faster. Does age matter in love? No, it does not matter in love. You can marry anybody. 12 years older, 12 years younger, 10 years older, 10 years younger, regardless you're a guy or a girl. By the way, I get dumped by my ex-boyfriend who fell in love with a lady who is 12 years older than us because he and me, we were uh, of the same age. So I get dumped and now they are married and happily married. Uh, yeah, but I was dumped initially. Of course, I was very upset. It's one of the lowest moments of my life. But at the end of the day, you just have to understand that it's all destiny. God wants it to happen that way. And I'm happy that they are married with two kids. And yeah, that's his destiny. And God has another set of destiny for me. If he don't dump me, I'll not be 
with my current love and that's my husband how do you not get gender by love huh. this is a very difficult question which i cannot even answer myself if you're in love there's no way for you to protect yourself because you're in love love has no barrier love has how to put it you cannot put a panel of glass there to prevent to prevent yourself from getting hurt somehow you're bound to feel hurt even though he don't cheat on you hurt in the sense as in maybe some days uh just happen to say something that hurt your feeling yeah but still so whenever you get jaded hurt by love i think we should take a time to just do some soul searching to rest to relax and during this time the people who matters to you who's supposed to pull you who's supposed to be your pillars are your family members if you are close with your family if not it's your good friend you really need them during this period of time when you feel hurt when you are at the lowest point of life in the, i mean when you are at the lowest point of your life when love is concerned there's no way to protect yourself when you're in love yeah because when you are in a relationship you have trust in the person you have faith in the person so it's very hard describe what love is to you <sighs> love is to me to me love is when two hearts join together when two hearts able to connect when two hearts share the same feeling share the same dreams share, share the same future and yeah it's about connection love to me is about connection lots of couples even for those who already married i could see that okay just let me give an example about this couple both are friends of mine they've been married for 10 years 14 years probably 14 years and has a 10 year old son every day she's always upset with her husband whatever she did the husband feels it's wrong whatever the husband did she feel it's not right even when traveling going holiday they can even be quarreling okay as i said i am friend with these two person and frankly none of them is that wrong and none of them is right things happen conflicts happen when you don't understand each other you don't know what each other want so conflicts just happen to me this this couple is walking towards different direction they just have different objective in life that's why the argument the conflicts keep coming which I really don't know how to help them because they can only help themselves it's about looking at each other's positivity good things about the person and just ignoring the negative side of the person but it seems like it's hard for this couple to actually ignore, put aside the negative character of a partner I don't know I should not comment much about this relationship because it's really very complicated and I don't want to say something that I shouldn't say yeah, because everybody has their own opinion and as a third party, I have my own opinion but which I have never said to them because I do not want it to influence their decision so I just wish them both the best and when they share things with me, I just uh, put myself as a listening ear because I know, I don't think so, they need any advice they just need a listening ear have you ever been in love? of course I've been in love I've been in love a couple of times but let me tell you, I have been truly in love only twice my husband of course and my ex-boyfriend which is before my husband one of the reason i really have a difficult time getting over him because to me he is my first true love the person i love truly for the first time even though he's not my first uh boyfriend the feeling falling in love for the first time is really different it's really i don't know it's just too painful to talk about it it's really different i should not elaborate because in case my husband watch this video i'm dead but whatever it is i love my husband of course i love my husband more than my this ex-boyfriend uh, but past is past what's the difference being in love with someone and having a crush of course having a crush is like you see the person you like the person first side but the feelings just on the surface and that's it but uh being in love with the person is about surrounding your emotion giving your whole heart to the person 
is about going through a journey together. Something that indirectly, um, without even saying it out, both of you are ready to walk thick and thin together. What is your love language? Okay, actually I don't know this question until I Google about it. Okay, uh, just know that there's five love languages and it's gift giving, quality time, words of affirm affirmation, acts of service, and physical touch. I think among all these five, the most important is quality time. Quantity does not matter. If you to spend 24 hours with the person, so it doesn't matter. If the time you spend together is not a quality one. So it's actually very important to spend quality time with the person. Words of affirmation means saying that I love you, I care for you, as, uh, giving the person sense of security through words. Of course, I myself need this. As a woman, we tend to feel insecure, especially when we grow older. You know, women tend to oh, wait faster than guys and tend to look older than guys at times. Okay, uh, while well, sometimes you look at your husband, wow, my husband still look as good as 10 years ago. So, you really need this uh, words of affirmation to feel secure. Acts of service devotion, of course. You have to be, of course, in relationship, we have to be devoted to each other. And physical touch, yes. Who do love physical touch, right? And I shall not elaborate about it. Physical touch is very important. It's not a number one in relationship, but definitely it's important. Do looks matter in love? It's, it will be a lie if I were to say that look does not matter. Even me myself, who's not really gorgeous, who's not really one of the world's beautiful women, still uh, think that looks play a part. But the word looks is very elaborate. Okay? Looks. A per an ugly person can appear as one of the most handsome person to the other party. As there's a saying, beauty lies in the eyes of the older. It's okay if other people don't think that your partner is handsome. Doesn't matter. As long as you, you yourself think that your partner is good looking, if not good looking also, it's like pleasant looking to your eyes. You know, because you are going to live with that person for the rest of your life. That's the face that you're going to face for the rest of your life. If you yourself feel that, oh, that guy has such an annoying look, he looks so irritating. Oh my God, such a retard. How can you live with that kind of person? If you yourself think that the person is not pleasant to look at, how about other people? So you yourself, must think that your partner is pleasant. And pleasant looking also is not just with looks, with character as well. Sometimes a person can be so-so, not very good looking, but he can be a very charming person. I've met a couple of uh, guys, that's when look-wise is concerned, just so-so, not that good looking, but can be very charming. The moment he opens his uh, his mouth or the moment he does certain things, charm. It's about charm. Sometimes you can have looks but you got no charm, so it's still back to zero. It's all about charm. No? About personality. So looks is very broad. But if you have a low uh, scoring in looks department, don't worry. A God is great. There's somebody who's made for you. Somebody who can tolerate you, your look, your nonsense. So don't think too much. Be the best of you. Certain things are just not beyond, beyond our control. I've got small eyes. I cannot ask for big eyes unless I go for plastic surgery. Huh? You no, know, some people, they're just not able to keep slim. I'm not slim either. <laughs> okay, so uh, I think being beautiful, looking good is uh, more about confidence. I ever go through a period of low self-esteem. Well, maybe I will talk about it during some other time uh, as I do not want to drag this video too long so I shall end my video here so we have come to the end of my tech video I hope you enjoy the content of this video even though I know as usual I don't know why I cannot stop myself from rambling whenever I'm doing a tech video probably I just love talking so much maybe I'm just self-love and I love my voice so just bear with me okay till we meet up again Mwah. bye